Hi, this is Miss Yoon. It's nice to see you again. In this video, we are going to learn pronunciation and speaking. Our lesson will be on page 16 of student book and page 9 of the workbook. Last time, we learned possessive pronouns with my and yours. Do you remember? Yes, so we are going to play some game to review the lesson that we learned. In this game, you have to choose the correct answer to fill in the blank. Especially because it's a very short time. So you have to be very quick. I think I can do it very well. So can you help me? Thank you. Now let's start the game. Read and to the correct answer. I have found a bag. Is this yours? Am this yours or are it yours? Is this yours? Number two, my favorite sport is badminton. What's yours? What's yours? What's mine? Is mostly what's yours? This book isn't my, your, my book. My book. Do you have an eraser? Your is at home, or mine is at home, or my is at home. My is at home. I saw a blue pencil on the chair. Isn't yours blue or isn't my blue or isn't your blue? Isn't yours blue? I saw that one. I just got two stars for the next activity. I will try the best next time. Sorry. Now, before we start, can I ask you some questions? I'm so sorry. I always have questions for you. But you have to answer my question first. So, what are your favorite subjects? My, my favorite subjects are English, Geography, and history. And what are three subjects that you don't like? Please don't tell anyone else, please. I don't like math, chemistry, or PE. Vừa rồi, Miss Yung vừa yêu cầu các con liệt kê ba môn học mà các con yêu thích và ba môn học các con không yêu thích. Và các bạn có nhớ ba môn học Miss Yung yêu thích là gì không? They are very good. They are English, geography, and history. Vậy, các bạn nghe kỹ lại Miss Yung đã đọc tên những môn học đó như thế nào nhé. I like English. Geography and history. So, khi Miss Yung đọc English, thì giọng của Miss Yung như thế nào? English, giọng đi lên đúng không? How's about geography? It's also good job, right? How's about history? Yes, it goes down. Vừa rồi, Miss Yung vừa được kê các nhân từ với intonations khác nhau. Thì intonation có thể hiểu rằng là ngữ điệu của câu. Thì chúng ta sẽ có hai ngữ điệu chính. Đó là raising tone, là lên giọng. Và falling tone, là xuống giọng. Vậy khi nào mình sẽ lên giọng? Vậy từ sau đây, Miss Yung đã lên giọng hay xuống giọng? Nghe kỹ nha. Number one, history. Number two, history. So, which number does Miss Yung raise her voice? 
Number one. Vậy trong câu của Miss Dung vừa nói, các bạn có biết Miss Dung đã lên giọng những từ nào không? Đó là English geography. Yes, và Miss Dung đã xuống giọng trang từ nào? History. Vậy chúng ta có một nguyên tắc khi liệt kê các danh từ trong một câu thì chúng ta sẽ lên giọng với các danh từ và chúng ta sẽ xuống giọng cho danh từ cuối cùng nằm trong câu. Now, we are going to listen to two sentences. You have to focus on how the intonation goes up, then down. Listen carefully. Listen to the sentence and focus on how the intonation goes up, then down. I like history, math, and geography. I like biology, physics, and literature. Now, I will read number one, and you will read number two. I like history, math, and geography. Now, you read number one, and I will read number two. Can you go first? Okay, I like biology, physics, and literature. So you are going to listen to two sentences, and then you have to cross out the one with the wrong intonation. We have this first sentence, I like math, science, and history. The second sentence, I like art, music, and physics. Now listen. Listen and cross out the one with the wrong intonation. I like math, science, and history. I like art, music, and physics. Now, listen one more time. Listen and cross out the one with the wrong intonation. I like math, science, and history. There is the sentence number one half third. Correct intonation? Yes, it is. Because the speaker goes up at the word math and goes up at the word science and then goes down at the word history. Listen to the second sentence. I like art, music, and physics. There is the sentence number two. Have the correct intonation? No, it doesn't. Because the speaker doesn't go down at the word physics. So we have to cross the sentence number two. Let's move on to the next activity. In this activity, you have to circle the happy face for the subjects that you like, and you have to circle the sad face for subjects that you don't like. So, can you look at the pictures? So, how many pictures are there? There are eight pictures. So, can you name eight subjects in the picture? We have number one, it's art. Number two, PE. Number three, physics. Number four, math. Number five, literature. Number six, biology. Number seven, history. And number eight, Geography. Now you can stop video here for 30 seconds to text your answer. Your 30 seconds start right now. Now I'm going to ask you the subjects that you like and the subjects that you don't like. And especially, you have to use the right intonation to answer. Và các con phải nhớ mình sẽ sử dụng đúng 
intonation để trả lời những câu hỏi của Miss Dung nhé. The first question. What subjects do you like? And here's my answers. I like arts, physics, literature, history, and geography. What subjects don't you like? Thank you. I don't like P, math, or biology. Very good. Now, I want to ask you more questions. What colors do you like? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me three animals do you like? What are your favorite food? Who are your best friends? Very good! Mm, math? Mm, I don't like math. IT. I really like IT. Miss Dung đang làm gì hả? Miss Dung đang làm khảo sát. What school in your school about the school subjects? Miss Dung đang làm cuộc khảo sát về môn học nào là tuyệt vời nhất ở trường mình vậy? Bạn có muốn giúp Miss Dung không? Đơn giản lắm. So, it's very easy to do that. So, you have to store a happy face for the subject that you like and a normal face for the subject that you think is okay and a sad face for the subject that you don't like. Mm -hmm. Now can you join in this survey? I'll be back in two minutes. Bye! So have you done yet? So this is my answer. And don't forget to write your favorite subject's name here. Now based on your answers, Can you practice the conversation with me? Các bạn sẽ cùng với Miss Dung thực hiện cuộc hỏi thoại bên dưới dựa trên bài khảo sát và các bạn sẽ đọc dòng màu cam và Miss Dung sẽ đọc dòng màu xanh nha. Alright, so can you start first? Hello? Yes, it is. I like geography. And history. How about you? What subjects don't you like? I don't like math or PE. Yes, that's true. What's your favorite subject? My geography. Good job. Okay. So I have a very important homework for you. So can you ask two more friends about their school subjects, and then you have to draw the faces in this table. How can you ask your friend? Just pick up the phone and make a phone call to your friends. Mm -hmm. So after asking your friends, you have to tell Miss Yoon what three subjects are the most popular in your group. You can answer. In our group, our three favorite subjects are and That's very easy, right?
Workbook Corrections Tab. Now let's correct your homework. Last time we have two exercises for your homework. The first exercise is grammar. In this exercise, you have to choose the word in the note here to fill in the blanks. So, is it a conversation between John and Irene? Did you finish? Now, let's check the answer together. What subjects do you like, Irene? I like math. What about you? I like art and music. What subject don't you like, John? I don't like physics or music. And you? I don't like literature or history. Do you like PE? Yes, I do. What's your favorite subject? It's physics. What about you? My favorite subject is art. Do you have six out of six correct answers? Good job. Now let's move on to the next exercise. In this exercise, you have to give your own ideas and you have to write them in full sentences. Don't forget to use the comma between the nouns and the period at the end of the sentence. Question number one. What subjects do you like? You can answer. I like English, comma, art, comma, and music, period. Question number two. What subject don't you like? You can answer. I don't like or and question number three what's your favorite subject you can answer my favorite subject is that's the end of our lesson today hôm nay chúng ta đã được học phần ngữ điệu trong phần pronunciation Vậy chúng ta nên nhớ có một nguyên tắc khi liệt kê các danh từ trong một câu, chúng ta sẽ lên giọng ở các danh từ và sẽ xuống giọng ở danh từ cuối cùng trong câu. Và các bạn hãy về nhà luyện tập thật nhiều, mình sẽ liệt kê các danh từ trong câu và các con phải sử dụng đúng các giọng điệu khi mình liệt kê những danh từ đó nhé. Goodbye and see you again in next lessons. Have a nice day.